So William called me and let me know that he was going to revive the woman I am today. I was first excited. He called me about a year ago when the concept came to him and he said, it's time. I've been here in Montgomery. I've made the contacts. I've rooted myself in the community. So it's time to do what I want to do. I've always believed in his vision and his dream. And anything that I can do to help that move forward, I was ready to do it. So he wanted me to initially play Davina, which is the role that I played in the second revival of the show. Um, but because of some, um, some of my personal struggles that I've had with some health problems, I'm not stage ready. So he said, I can't do it without you. I want you to direct. So I was humbled, to say the least, when he asked me to direct this show. This show kickstarted the career of some powerhouse people in black theater. So for him to ask me, this show was directed by some by Palmer Williams initially. You know, so when he asked me to fill those big shoes to fill. So I was humbled. I was excited. I immediately said yes. Like, that was the fastest contract negotiation period ever. So did you know about the history of the play before you were casted? And if so, how does that affect the way you went about preparing for your role? Well, I've heard about this play, or I heard about this play years ago when I first met William Parks. And I'm, that, that's why I'm so elated because when I heard about it, it was played by big time celebrities. And now it's come around and I've been given an opportunity. I'm ecstatic. I mean, I'm just excited about it. Davina is me. You know, it's, it's almost like the role was created for me because it gives me an opportunity to be true to my personal self. I'm very comical and humorous and that's what the character or role of Davina uh, requires. So my name is Ulrich O.J. Johnson, is what they call me, and uh, I'm from Miami, Florida. Originally, I live in Atlanta, Georgia right now, and uh, I love music and I love theater. My performing narcissist background started since I was a kid, but I, uh, I'll get to the adulthood part. I started uh, as a major in theater in Florida and m University, and um, since then I've done a plethora of things. Uh, Lately, uh, as of late, over the last three years, it's been pretty good. Um, a lot of TV, a lot of film, and a lot of stage. Um, stage plays like How, um, How Did We Get Here? Uh, stage plays like uh, Candy, Candy Burst is a Mother's Love, uh, which we toured all and filmed about two years ago and toured all of uh, the year before that. Um, Tyler Perry's Hell Have No Fury, uh, which we filmed a couple years ago and just came out last year, which we toured the whole year around the country, which was awesome. Uh, I have a couple more projects with Tyler, which I can't talk about because he doesn't allow that. Um, but they are TV and film. Catalyst, which is a movie that I filmed just recently. And there's another movie called Two Wrongs that actually comes out this year. So musicals, though, although TV and film is really a lot of fun, musicals are the best for me because, first of all, it's real theater. It's what my ground roots are. And when you put music in that, which is my other ground roots, which is music, it's the best thing. It's the, it's the best thing since sliced bread. What did you feel when you were casted in the role of Lady Royale? And what do you hope to bring to this role? How did I feel about being casted as Royale and what am I going to bring? Mm -hmm. um, I was very, very excited to get cast as Lady Royale. And I plan to bring a lot of positive energy and as much excitement as I can to the cast. How do I feel about my character, Mona? Um. I feel very close to Mona. Mona, you're going to watch Mona grows. She has a lot of life lessons, a lot of stories um, from her past that she keeps hidden deep down. She represents old wounds that have to heal. So I am very proud to play Mona, you know, to grow with Mona as well so I can relate to that in my life. Yes, my name is Brandi Crenshaw. I graduated from Alabama State University and I got a bachelor's degree in theater. I've done several musical plays, stage plays, and a couple of commercials. How did you feel when you got casted in the role of Lynn and what do you hope to bring to this role? I was very surprised. Um, it was just like 
very random when I was asked to do the play and I was excited and then when he said it's a musical I was like oh okay <laughs> so it was a very I was blessed I was blessed I was very excited to do it did you know the history of the play at the time you were casting it and so how does that affect the way you go about preparing for your role I actually did not know the history of the play. Um, being that it was a musical, I definitely um, basically was more so thinking about my voice. Um, so I'm trying to get my voice stronger. So that was probably the challenge of this particular play. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your background in theater slash performing arts? So, uh, Ibrahim Lee. Uh, I play Pastor Dion here in this amazing play. Background in theater, I would say I started out in high school, actually high school. Tania Stewart at Alabama State University, they were producing The Wiz, and they needed a lot of extras. But for me, extras went to understudying the role from an understudy, uh, understudy to getting the part. And so it was amazing to have a, a, a production with over 100 people in it and to be in high school. So that was the bug. <laughs> that was the bug that started it all. Uh, I've always been, uh, orator and speaking in various places and engagements. Uh, another thing, is, and I haven't had real, real theater, theater experience. I was an extra in uh, Rosa Parks' story. I walked by and waved. Okay, don't laugh at me. But so, and so it's various church plays, school plays, uh, different things of that nature, just always towards the theater. I understand it, I respect it, and just that art. So that was the, the beginning, that's my background with it. How did you feel when you were casting in the role of Pastor Dion Hill? And what do you hope to bring to this role? So it's funny that you asked that. My uh, cousin uh, he inboxed me last night on Facebook and he said, so uh, cuz, do you always have to be the pastor in the play? <laughs> and so with that I said, right, but my line name was Deacon Lee. And so uh, it was okay. I understand, I get it. And reading the role and reading the script, it was actually something that I was honored to do. And to be perfectly, totally honest, I was so impressed with the professionalism the professionalism displayed um, and just how how everything happened. I believe that things everything happens for a reason. So when I got the role for Vanessa, I was really excited because this is my first, I would say, official role in like a real play, you know, <laughs> signing contracts, things like that. So I was really excited when I was cast into it. And uh, I really hope to bring authenticity to Vanessa because uh, I've being being in a role where you're the you're not the center of attention that's not something that is I would say easy to do without pulling focus from other people so um, I'm really I hope to bring that to light her her story hey everybody my name is Kayla or I'm also known as Halo around the city of Birmingham um, I perform for a band called the Rubber Band Effect where I'm the lead singer um, I also have my own project out. I'm a neo-soul R&B artist. Um, it's called This Is Who I Am. I also do theater. Um, in my high school, I'm a part of a program called the Jefferson County Academy of Theater and Dance. So we learn about doing theater and dance and enhancing ourselves in the arts. So next fall, I'll be attending the University of Alabama as a the musical theater major. How did you feel when you got casted for the role of Vanessa? And what do you hope to bring to this role? I was so excited being casted as Vanessa. Um, it was a ch it was going to be a challenge for me. I already knew because Vanessa is a little bit older than I am. I'm actually 18 and she's in her late 20s. So I knew it was going to be a little challenge. But I'm very excited to bring a bubbly personality um, to the character of Vanessa. Did you know about the history of this play at the time you were casted? And if so, how did that affect the way you went about preparing for your role? I did know about the history of the woman I am today. And to prepare, I actually studied a little bit of Demetria McKinney. Um, I also looked up some things about her and how she kind of portrayed the role just to see if I could fit myself into her mold so we can kind of come together and create this character of Vanessa. Do you have any other thoughts, final thoughts? Um, follow your dreams. It's never too late. That's my final thought. <laughs> Do I have any other thoughts? Any other thoughts? Yes. Um, I mean, my, 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 I don't really have a lot of thoughts. I mean, my, my thoughts right now is that I'm really honestly enjoying this process. This process has been pretty cool. Um, I'm a grinder. I like to, I like to work. 
Um, this is what I do 24-7, and I'm so blessed to be able to do music and theater 24-7, especially coming off of another blessed career, which I was an NFL football player. And so God has really been blessing me um, just to continue to do what I love to do and live out all of my dreams. And so um, I also want to encourage anyone who has a dream or has um, the the dream or they want to be a star in you, if you will, you know, quote unquote, and they want to be on stage, you know, you have to look, you have to watch, you have to experience to see something, to see if it's something that you really want to do. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be around a bunch of people who are grinders like me, you know, who want to, who want to do this because they love it. You know, finances, are, finances have to be involved sometimes, but the, you know, sometimes you got to crawl before you walk and you have to do it because you love it more than because, you know, the money is in it and the monetary is in it. So I'm learning around people uh, maybe that may not have as much experience as me and some may, but I'm still learning and, I, and the, the people's minds that are in this building, and I'm sorry telling y'all we're in this building because we're having rehearsal while we're there, but the people here have such a, an open heart, they have so, oh, such an open mind to growing and trying to be sponges so we can get better and better and that's what it's all about. I expect it to be more than a play, I expect it to be an experience for everybody, an experience that will be life changing for people. That you walk in expecting one thing is what you say in church. That you you want to walk in one way and come out another way. I expect that this happens, and then this byproduct of it would be that we truly live out the vision and the dream of our executive producer, and as it relates to bringing this this culture to Montgomery, uh, the level of respect of black actors to. Uh, this professionalism here in Montgomery period to where, where we don't have to go to Atlanta, we don't have to go to another city, we actually, you come here. Because this is Montgomery movers and shakers, so uh, that's what I hope to expect from it. If I could just say one final thing about the show, it would be that this has been such a pleasure for me to work with such an amazing cast. I mean, all of the girls and the guys and then our stage manager, uh, just the whole team, William and uh, MJ and Jonah, our publicist. I mean, it's just been an amazing team to work with. I've just had a great, great time. This show is a lesson in so many ways. It's a lesson for the cast members for the particular cast member who was reluctant to allow herself to shine. For the cast member who didn't embrace himself as being a sex symbol. For the cast member who saw this as an opportunity to show the world that what he does for a living does not define who he is as a man. For the cast member who started off, as, who is a comedian and found out that I can act too. For the administrative team member who is afraid to take on a big job, who has shined and made my job a whole lot easier. My last thoughts are that this play has changed people's lives and when you see it, the person you are when you sit down and the person you'll be when you leave the theater will be different. Come and see the woman I am today. This is going to be an amazing production. You don't want to miss it. If you miss it, you are a square. So come and see the woman I am today. <laughs>